an object is shot vertically upward from the surface of the moon. If we wish the object to reach a maximum height that equals to the radius of the moon above surface, how much initial speed is required? It's a maximum height problem, so we can use conservation of energy. The moon does not have any atmosphere, so there is no air resistance. Therefore, E initial should equal to E final. At the beginning, just after the object is shot, it has kinetic energy 1 half mv squared. It's on the surface of the moon, but it does have gravitational potential energy. For such large motion range, we cannot use mgy for gravitational potential energy. We have to use uh, negative g mm over r for the gravitational potential energy. And uh, when we use this equation for the gravitational potential energy, it is zero at infinity. It is not zero on the surface of the moon. So we have gravitational potential energy that's negative g m m over r, and when it's on the surface, the r, the, the distance to the center of the moon is uh, big R, the radius of the moon. The final is when the object reaches the maximum height. Since it's a maximum height, it is the turning point. That means the final kinetic energy is uh, zero. Over there, it does have gravitational potential energy. Again, we have to use that same equation. That's negative g m m over r. And uh, over there, the r, the distance to the center of the moon, will be r plus r. It's twice the radius of the moon. Now, every single term has a little m, so we can cancel the little m. And then I have 1 half vi squared minus big G m over big R equals to the negative big G big M over 2R. Because I have to solve for V, I can move that one over. So I have 1 half vi squared equals to, I move this one over, I get G m over R and then minus big G m over 2r. I can factor out the g m over r, and then this part has 1 left, and then this part is 1 half. So I get 1 half v i squared equals to 1 half times g m over r. So I can cancel the 1 half and then take the square root. That's the square root g m over r. Now I can plug in all the numbers. The big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. The mass of the moon is 7.35 times 10 to the 22nd. And then the radius is 1740 kilometers. So I have to add three zeros. If I do this calculation, I should get uh, the initial speed to be 1679 meters per second.